Lord, <laughs> I'm not happy. At the beginning of this year, your servants prophesied to me that before the end of this year, I will have my own child. This is December. And there's no sign of pregnancy, Lord. Why me? Why are all this happening to me, Lord? Look at my friends that newly got married. They have their own children. Father, Lord, you promised to give me my own husband this year. Lord, we are in December. Yet no man has shown interest in getting married to me. Lord, through your servant this year, you prophesied to me that before December, I will have a car. Lord, look at it. This is December. Lord, but there is nothing to show for. No car. Oh, God. Even the person I was hoping that would sow a seed of a car in my life, Lord. No, no, no sign. You promised to give me a job before the end of the year. Look at it. The year is almost gone. I have toiled throughout this year. Yet, no job. What kind of year is this? Does it mean that all the prophecy that was prophesied upon my life was a lie? Ha! <sighs> hey. So all the prophecy that I'm going to travel abroad. So it's just lies. This is December. The year is about to end. <laughs> Lord, I have come with a heart full of thanks to appreciate you for all you have done for me this year. I have nothing to complain about because what I saw this year has shown me that indeed you are faithful. Yes, I didn't buy any car this year, but Lord, I never begged anybody for transport fare. You even provided cars for my friends and my brothers that sometimes they give me a lift. Lord, thank you. I didn't get job this year, but Lord, I never begged anybody for food, nor begged anybody for house rent. Lord, you provided for me. I am grateful. You knew I had no money to go to the hospital. That was why you gave me good health. You didn't allow me to fall sick throughout this year. Lord, I am grateful. You knew I had no money to bury anybody. That was why you kept my parents alive. You kept my siblings alive. None of them was admitted to the hospital this year. Lord, I am grateful. I know that he that is alive has hope. I believe that better days are coming. But I am here to thank you for all you did for me. I am here to thank you that I didn't go to abroad, but I am alive. I am here to thank you that I didn't achieve what my friends have achieved. Yet, I am alive. I am here to thank you. Thank you, Lord. I am grateful for all you've done.
done for me this year. Be glorified. I worship you. Thank you. Thank you. Receive your blessing now. Forever. Good day. Ah, good day. Yeah, it's like you're looking for someone. Yes. I'm looking for one Mr. Ferdinand Okonko. Yes, and with the house number on the letter, I think he must be living here because of the number on the gate. I hope there's no problem. No, 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 not at all. There's no problem. You know, the way the country is nowadays, somebody has to be very careful. Ah, no problem. Okay. No problem. Um, I'm Mr. Ferdinand Wanko, yes. You mean you are Mr. Ferdinand Wanko? Yes. Wow. I hope there's no problem. No, no problem. I've been moving everywhere looking for you. Wow. Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm from Anders Oil and Gas Company. Anders? Yes. Oh, you mean the one close to the airport? Exactly. <gasps> You're welcome. Yes. I remember I submitted my CV there some months ago. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. We have been trying to reach you on your phone number. <sighs> We're not reachable. We're so sorry. Days. You see, some days ago I lost my phone. So uh, I've not been online for a while now. I know. Okay. Well, well, congratulations. Congratulations. For what? <laughs> you have been employed in our company. Employed? Yes, as one of our HR. Uh -uh. Yes, you can see for yourself. Don't tell me this is true. It is. Have been employed? Yes. He? And that is not all. This employment comes with a good car, a two bedroom apartment. Attached to this job? Exactly. Jesus Christ. Hey. Oh, this is my God. God. God is faithful. God is faithful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 